Hi, we're here at CES 2020 and I'm talking to Dave Neway at IBM and we're going to talk about what's in advertising. So tell me what is new and what you guys are talking about at CES this week. Yes, well we had a major product announcement this week. Uh, on Tuesday, I'm very proud to announce that we launched uh, a new offering called Advertising Accelerator with Watson, which as you can probably tell by the name, uh, leverages Watson AI really to do three things. Anticipation, it helps advertisers better predict as opposed to react to the optimal combination of visual elements to drive the highest engagement for an audience. It also helps uh, in segmentation and really sort of uncovering the sort of complexion and sort of preferences of audiences as they respond to advertisements. And it also helps in revelation and revealing like the insights that help sort of drive this higher level of engagement. So anticipation, segmentation, and revelation, that's really what this new product brings to the advertising community. That's really fascinating. So tell me a little bit about the tech behind that and how this is being measured and how you developed that. Sure, so I mean, when we started developing the solution, we really tried to take a very customer-centric approach and sort of understand what the pain points were amongst our, our core buyers which is you know, kind of fourfold. One, uh, you know, I think converting audiences is a very uh, tall order. Uh, I think there's a lot of banner blindness in our industry and you know, our buyers are looking for solutions that really help audiences take that action. Um, and also in this world of you know, personalization, sort of driving conversion, there are tactics that are available like uh, SEM and retargeting and DCO, but that market's pretty mature. It's been you know, sort of 10 years since those solutions have been in market. And I think it's kind of time for that, you know, that sort of bar to be accelerated, if you will, and sort of be enhanced. Uh, and I think also our buyers are looking for, they're looking to get their you know, toe sort of dipped into AI, but they want to do that with AI they can trust. And that's really where Watson sort of comes in uh, to sort of like provide that credibility and um, authenticity in terms of the coding that we're using. And with this particular use of data analytics, I mean, I know that a lot of companies have been collecting data on their customers, but they don't really know how to use it. So th is this a good way to, f to find an application? Yeah, so that's a great question. So one of the great things about this new product, about Advertising Accelerator, is that Whereas you know, other solutions like DCO are sort of wholly reliant upon context and behavioral information and cookies and the psychographics of audiences, and we know that cookies are becoming more elusive in this privacy-safe world, this solution actually doesn't rely on context at all. Uh, it just really relies on hypothesis testing and serving ads and sort of understanding what is resonating from a, a visual um, standpoint with various audiences and then predicting what permutation of all the various elements you can see in an ad. Is it the foreground, the background? Is it the actor that's featured? Is it the call to action? That's going to make you take an action versus me versus anyone else. It really sort of personalizes in an anonymous way uh, the sort of ad experience for audiences at scale. And then how does it also deal with um, customer privacy? Because I know that's huge. Right, well, the good thing about this is that uh, it doesn't require any sort of PII in order to sort of serve an ad to a consumer. Uh, it really sort of anonymizes the process and serves ads just based on whether the, the user is clicking on the ad or not. Uh, and then it also takes into account like what the, were the visual elements that maybe made that user click. Was it the orange background? Was it the purple call to action? Was it, was it the use of a certain, uh, a certain sort of weather situation that was featured? So it really kind of um, sort of democratizes sort of how sort of uh, you know, performance creative works in this new world. I love that. So they can figure out what color is working, what headlines, or even what font. Right. So. And I think the, the benefit of that is that it kind of flips the script a little bit on sort of strategy informing media. I think with a solution like this, the media actually informs the strategy. The insights that we derive from running a campaign through Accelerator would reveal that, okay, it looks like there's, a, there's an audience here that is really responding well in like the Miami demographic to orange backgrounds with like this type of CTA, whereas maybe in Milwaukee, they're responding to you know, trees in the background and, a, and an orange or a, a purple background with a completely different call to action. So it really kind of helps advertisers better understand the, the complexion of their audience and shape their future media strategies accordingly. Fascinating, and when will this be available for so it was, uh, it was made live uh, actually on Tuesday of this week. Uh, we announced with uh, two beta partners as well, Lending Tree and the Potential Energy Council. And uh, CES has been wonderful in terms of generating more interest. Uh, it's been a lot of hand raisers and we're very excited about the road ahead. Great, well thank you so much. Thank you, really appreciate it.